Hello, my name is Louis Saltero, and I am the CTO at Global Marine Networks. Uh, this is a short video that will demonstrate how to install the Global Star drivers for a Windows 7 64 bit machine. Uh, currently, Global Star does not distribute 64 bit drivers, so um, you need to use uh, the GMN drivers in order to uh, do data over the GSP 1700. So um, let's get going here. Um, the first thing you need to do is uh, download some software. Um, you can do this at our website, globalmarinet.com. Uh, if you go to the downloads link uh, on the <coughs> on the link bar on the left-hand side of the page, um, that will take you to a page which has all of our software. And uh, you'll notice that there's a link here for device drivers for satellite phones. If you click on that and you select the GMN modem dial-up installer for Windows, that will download the software. So um, you would just click on this and then say save and place this on the desktop and then hit the save button. Uh, for purposes of this discussion I'm not going to do it because we've already downloaded the software and we don't want to delay this video uh, with the download. So I'm just going to hit cancel where you would hit save and then I'm going to minimize this. So we've got the software installed on the desktop. It's called done setup. Uh, and to start the installation process we just double click on the installer which will bring up a wizard after we confirm that we want to run it. So um, here's our wizard. Uh, we hit next, we uh, accept the terms, we hit next. <clears throat> At this point uh, the wizard is asking us to connect the USB device. In this case the USB device is the GSP 1700. I should have mentioned at the beginning of the video that you should have your GSP 1700 off and not connected uh, before you run the installer, although um, the process is the same whether it's installed the device is plugged in or not. But let's go ahead now and plug the device in. So I'm going to go ahead and plug the device in and as soon as we do that <clears throat> um, you will notice that there is a window down here at the bottom that pops up in Windows 7 and uh, it gives you an error message which indicates that the drivers were not successfully installed. If you click on that uh, you will see basically that there was no driver found for uh, the Qualcomm CDMA technologies, which is basically the phone, since Qualcomm is a manufacturer. Um, so, what to do next? <clears throat> well, we'll close this window, and uh, we'll hit the Device Manager button here to bring up the Windows Device Manager. And you'll notice that we have a failed driver installed right here. Uh, we can click the right mouse button and say Update Driver Software. Uh, a window pops up. We browse our computer, and um, at this point you need to browse to the C drive in a folder called wireless.drv. You would do that by clicking on the browse button, clicking on the plus next to my computer, scrolling down, selecting wireless.drv. Uh, that's already been done here once and so it's already selected. And uh, make sure that you've got include subfolders checked and hit next. Uh, Windows will then find a driver. It has not been logo certified so you need to tell it to install anyway. and then wait a few seconds here while Windows installs the driver. <clears throat> and we just heard the bonk bonk noise of the Windows router and then we get a window that says that the installation has completed and that the driver has been successfully installed. So we hit close and sure enough under our COM ports LPT, we see a nice communication port for GSP 1700 COM3, which is our driver. Um, so that does the driver. However, you still can't use it because you need a dial-up adapter and a modem configured for that particular device. And so um, we return to the wizard to do that. We hit next. Uh, we have a quick install button. Uh, we press the quick install button. And what that does is it causes the Windows machine to probe the serial ports looking for satellite phones. Uh, it should find the GSP 1700 here momentarily. And when it does, it will go ahead and, um, here we go, ask us to install a driver. Again, this driver is not logo certified. So we'll say install anyway. And then we get a message momentarily here after the drivers install stating that the process has now been completed and your GSP 1700 modem has been completely installed. So we can hit OK. We're now finished. We hit Next. We hit Done. And that concludes the installation of the drivers. Uh, if you want to connect to the Internet, you just click the Start button, go to the Control Panel, 
go to um, Network and Sharing Center. And uh, you want to um, go to Change Adapter Settings. And here's my Global Star modem. I just double click on that. Make sure that the phone number is pound sign 777 it has, as it has been initialized there. Click the dial button and off we go. We're dialing and uh, when we have signal we'll connect to the internet. Uh, to disconnect you would just right mouse click on that same icon and say disconnect. Um, we're not connected currently. We have no satellite signal so we can't connect at the moment but once we're connected we can just go ahead and hit disconnect here. Um, you probably want to do email and weather on your satellite phone. I suggest that you visit us on the web at www.globalmarinenet.com and uh, check out our free three-day demo uh, for Xscape. Here it is right here. You can download that, install it on your machine, and uh, you'll have three-day demo uh, where you can do email to and from your Global Star phone um, and then uh, decide whether you'd like to purchase the service. Anyway, that completes our installation process. Um, until next time, this is Lewis wishing you all a good evening, and until next time, thanks.